Welcome back. Welcome back. I'll let you guys join in so we can have a just a discussion of what's happening with this RC and the things that you need to look for when you uh, upgrade a few parts that are on this. Ultimate RC, man, what's going on? Steve DeClark, what's happening? Only fifth scale, what's going on? Mr. Solo, how are we doing? Ultimate RC, man, I said, what's up to you? You were number one on this thing. So I'll wait 30 more seconds. I'll tell you what's going on. Mr. Cologne, are you going to be in the hobby store today? I will not be. <laughs> I definitely will not be there today. Looks good, Gio. Thank you very much. Marcel, what's going on? Leo, what's going on? I don't know why it popped up and said you. Hmm. Lewis, thank you very much. Love your show, brother. Thank you very much. All right. So uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Traxxas Fortec VXL, which you see right here. Now, over the last uh, few weeks, I've been doing a lot of customization uh customizations yeah you yeah you were the first comment uh you working on the rustler excellent so i've done a lot of updates and upgrades with this rc as of late and i've invested a lot of time and money jamrock what's going on and i want to go over a few things that i've uh touched on to this rc and also what i can tell you um what's happening with the rc and where am i at uh, so let's talk about a few things, all right? And there are a few things that you need to find out about it if you do own this car. It's going to be a few quick modifications that you're going to have to do that don't initially come with the RC itself. All right, so I'm going to take my uh, MIP uh, tool and we'll talk about it from the back to the front. So as you can see, I do have my telemetry expander I ended up uh, getting. Also, I ended up getting the blue links. Uh, I ended up getting the upgraded shocks from Traxxas, the blue anodized blue shock caps, the hot racing drive shafts, the uh, orange tires, hot racing um, arms, Traxxas sway bar kit, um, spiral cut gears, uh, spiral cut uh, diff gears in the rear, uh, hot racing cover, hot racing fan hot racing uh battery uh hold downs uh bum, 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 bum. let me keep going um valenium fan that i threw in there uh traxxas uh center drive shaft hot racing servo horn hot racing steering also you see the blue aluminum with the sh uh blue aluminum links um, hot racing arms, the tracks is for the front uh, sway bar, uh, the upgraded shocks as well, uh, the drive shafts for the front, my steering knuckles, um, what else? A few things I want to talk about the front drive shaft and also I got the blue aluminum for the rims as well. Uh, the whole car has stainless steel uh stainless steel screws i'm talking about almost 99 percent of it i just i do have to buy uh uh droop screws uh for the arms that have to be uh stainless steel but other than that everything was locked tight and almost all the components were changed out um this is what it looks like underneath uh pretty much as you can see stainless steel all over the place and stuff like that but let me talk about a few modifications oh um this is from traxxas Oh, man, I don't even know the name of this, but this is blue aluminum. Uh, it does change the uh, positioning of the arms as well. I bought it for the front and the rear. It does come in a set. Uh, and there's probably going to be a few other things that I need to add on to this. Uh, Hot Racing is coming out and also Traxxas is coming out with the uh, aluminum brakes. So I'm going to be doing that uh, very, very soon. Uh, also... Um, I did order the Hot Racing Aluminum um, fan for the ESC. I know a lot of people are going to be like, you already have the Valenian system. Uh, I ended up changing that out. 
Um, also, the um, the servo is a 2075X, and I'll talk about that scenario that I ended up getting into with this RC itself. So let's talk about the problems that I've, I have found and have encountered upgrading this RC, which I've never had to deal with beforehand, but we'll talk about that right now. Um, the spiral cut gears for the front. The spiral cut gears from the front on the Traxxas website gives you a different part number than what the rears are. Um, when I initially tried to install this, um, the the smaller gear had a shaft that came out of it, which that's not supposed to be correct. It's supposed to be um, have a hole to where the center drive shaft goes through. Uh, that didn't have it. From what I understand from Traxxas, I just have to buy the same one for the rear as for the front. My hobby guy is going to get it for me, so I'll have a spiral cut front in uh, very soon. Uh, that's one thing that I encountered. I don't know if Traxxas fixed it on their site as of yet, but the uh, spiral cut front is wrong on their website. Um, so that's one thing that you have to look out for. Uh, second thing that I found a problem with, and this is from Hot Racing, I wanted to mount my uh, sway bar kit into there. Now, Hot Racing did provide you the two uh, the two holes. One of them is a positioning hole. The second in, second hole is for your screws to go in there. Hot Racing did not produce um, any threaded a threaded hole for my screws to go in. So my hobby guy uh, Dan at Hobby Heroes uh, was able to tap it and uh, rethread. Uh, brand new screws in there uh, without damaging any of the um, without damaging any of the uh, the paint on the uh, on the arms which he did an excellent excellent job I was very happy when he did it the job that he did was phenomenal you have to do that for the front and rear or you cannot have a sway bar kit for that so that's another issue that I found now let's talk about um, Another issue that I found uh, doing the upgrades to this scenario, and this I'll have to go into. Aha. Alrighty. So uh, I ended up buying uh, this brand new uh, Savox servo. Uh, the part number is SC1257. Now, when I installed the servo in here, this is this is what initially transpired. Now, the way it's set up, let me see if I have another servo. Aha, here we go. So I do have another servo for I can, for, so I can give you guys a little bit of a heads up once you're doing an upgrade for this RC. Now, I do have the 1275X in there, and that's the Traxxas um, steel gears. And this is the 12, uh, I'm sorry, the 2075X, and this is the 2075. So this is what initially is happening with between the two servos. So if you line these things up, you'll notice that on the extension, this is just a hair higher than what the Traxxas is. Now I'm going to look at this. We're trying to line it up, line it up as, as close as we can. And this is a hair higher than what the Traxxas one is. You see how the lip comes out of it? You know, a little bit higher on there. This is an issue with the uh, Fortec. Now, let me explain. And this is this is with a lot of servos. I was planning to spend, I think this is like a $70 servo. I was planning to spend, you know, I told the guy, I was like, look, give me, I'll, I'll take a $150 servo. I just, I just want something uh, set up nicely into this. So primarily what's happening is when you're looking at this closely, um, when I was doing my steering, this part of the steering, which was turning that way, was rubbing up against the servo, which I was very, very, very annoyed with because I'm like, that's kind of bogus. You know, why is it rubbing up? I'm just spent that kind of money and I'm it's rubbing. Now, it wasn't the horn horn with the shaft it was the steering itself and initially what we were going to do is shave that off but realistically on my channel um i do not like to do that those type of modifications because i know there's a lot of younger uh kids that watch the channel uh so they can't you know having somebody do that for them is a little bit more intricate than anything else so i ended up opting before you know until i do a little bit more research and finding out 
um, which type of server I'm going to be going with, uh, I ended up having a 2075X available and I installed it in there. Now, here's another thing from Hot Racing. Now, these right here, the Servo Horn, um, the Servo Horn is a 25 tooth. So, uh, I'm pretty sure Futaba or anything like that won't be able to fit in there. I'm just curious if Hot Racing is going to um, set up to have another company available to install into there. The Savox works, but it just doesn't, it just rubs against it. What else have I found out about this RC? Oh, I'm still on the waiting list for the uh, the cups. I did have the Traxxas cups, uh, the steel cups for my drive shafts. I did not buy that yet. Uh why haven't I painted the body yet? The body's up there. I'll, I'll answer your questions in a few. I just want to go over this uh, really detailed with you guys because I think this information is very good if you do have a Fortec. Um, now, over here, I need to get the steel cups. That's uh, another thing I needed to um, acquire. Uh, we're still waiting out from Hot Racing. Also, like I said, uh, over here, I need to change these out. Uh, these are going to be from Hot Racing as well. Or probably on Traxxas. If you go on the Traxxas website, they already have the green ones available. I do not want green. Um, and that being said, that's what I'm looking at at that point. What other issues have I encountered? I do have the high rated speed versions. Also, uh, one thing I can talk to you about this the mount uh, for the uh, telemetry expander is just a hair off so this does move just a little bit not too much you don't want to over tighten and um and damage the diff cover hopefully uh one a company will come out with a diff cover aluminum so i can lock tight it and this will be nicely secure so um yeah so these are the things that i've i've found out as of late as me doing this whole build like i said almost 90 95 percent of my screws was changed out for stainless steel i had to uh go into each and every one of my screws make sure everything is locked tight um you know like i said 95 percent or 98 percent like these two screws i have to change out uh i'm not too sure which kit i have to buy i, have to, I probably have to buy the yeti Yigi, the yeti junior kit for me to get those sizes available to me and also um I think as of right now, there is the update on the Fortech. Um, I think that was informative to you guys, for you guys, who whoever's doing these type of upgrades. So that's something you can look out for. Yeah, Lewis, uh, Lewis, and now Lewis LPRCs is also doing uh, a Fortech uh, update on this. Um, there are a lot of interesting information that I left in there as opposed to the way the servo mounts and everything like that, that gets stuck in a whole bunch of things that are happening. MTC took you 25, a very good friend of mine in Florida. What's going on, my friend? Uh, I'll be in Jacksonville. I think, um, I think in May, I have to head up to Jacksonville in May. So Gus, what's going on? All right. So let me go over a few, a few Q and A's that's been happening. Cause I see, bum, 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 bum. Uh, Marcel says, everyone like this live stream. Yeah, if you like the information on the live stream, definitely hook me up. Warhawk Legend 69, what's going on, my friend? RC Steven, looking good. Thank you very much. Walk Legend says, Carl's looking good. Walk Legend says, damn, you went all out with this one. I did. Nick, hey, what's going on? Steve, uh, I just got some of my hot racing stuff delivered to me today. Love the hot racing. Hot racing, they're coming out with these parts very, very fast. Warhawk Legends, uh, Steve DeClark, yeah, Hot Racing is, uh, where's that for the upgrades, very true. Uh, Steve gives a thumb up, remote control channel, such a pretty bill, thank you. Steve DeClark says, Warhawk Legend, have you ever used Draven RC stainless steel kit? I uh, just ordered one, I've never used one. Hillbilly RC, what's going on, car looking good, but oh, thank you very much, Hillbilly says, no sir. Uh, Steve the Clock, while well, Legend is supposed to come with extra, it said. Uh, usually these kits come with extra. Uh, well, Legends, Gio, remind me to send you some black rid dye, homie. Yo, that is the next thing I plan to do. I have to take this whole thing apart and dye this because it just, it's just a total, it, it, it takes away a little bit, a lot, a lot from the build uh, on this. Uh, Nick, uh, why do you not dye your chassis black on the black uh, makes the color pop out? Yeah, I trust me, uh, it will be dyed. Uh, a few chassis I do have to dye as well. I have to buy a new chassis for my slash 4x4, which I will dye. Uh, that one is dyed already, so I'm going to be dyeing a few things. But, it's, you know, taking these whole things apart and putting them back together is not an easy task, especially on this RC. 
Um, Mr. Harris, last time I came on uh, and asked you a question, you didn't finish the answer to how you're doing today. Uh, yeah, repeat the question. I'm sorry, my man. Steve the Clark, uh, he gets a lot of questions. I'm sure it wasn't intentional. It's never, it's never intentional. Walk Legend 69, I wonder if you ever uh, did paint that body yet. The only reason why I haven't painted the body yet, which is up there somewhere, I got all the decals for it. Um, let me see if I can get the decals. I should have them up there. Hold on. Boom, 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 boom. I'm still waiting. I have, <clears throat> if you guys get the opportunity, definitely go on, um, what the hell is that thing called? Uh, type in Ford Race GT, and here are the decals right here. Here are the stickers for the car itself. Here is more stickers. I had to buy extras because you know one size is different than the other and this one has uh, the Le Mans and everything like that so I had to buy two sets of stickers and also here is the body plus a wing so yes everything is being ready and everything has been color-coded if you guys can see I ended up getting everything color-coded of what I'm gonna be doing and also I already have the paints for you guys that don't think I have the paint available uh, bum, 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 bum. Here is the two reds. Here is the two blues. Here is the two whites. And I'm just in black. Nah, no biggie. I'm gonna put this back. But I am ready for painting. Plus, it's been snowing, so not, much, not that much to uh, to get around when it comes down to that. So let me see where the. Uh, all right, where are we at? Um, I know you got a phone call. Oh, uh, let me see. Yeah, 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 when I get a phone call, it's crazy. Nah, it's cool. Take your time uh, and go over this car. Louis Alparcy, Vortex looking, thank you. MTC, everybody said, what's up? Gus, what's up? Be sure to hit me up. Yo, definitely so, bro. I'll give you the address where I'm going to be at in Jacksonville. Walk Legend says, MTC, MTC took you 25. You in Florida? I'm in Daytona. Yo, man, I'm, I'm usually going to Daytona for bike week. Uh, Louis LP, I just received my LED... Uh, LED's blue underglow. Nice. Leo Richard says, have you thought about 6S with it? I have thought about 6S doing this, but there's going to be a lot of modifications that have to be done over here for me to come across. I was thinking more of a 4S. 4S will break 100 easily without me modifying the chassis. <laughs> MTC took it 25 says, what's up, Warhawk? RC Steven, where did you get your, transp your transponder for your Mini Z? I got it at Hobby Heroes. Uh, Mr. Harris says, I'm getting the E-Revo. I was wondering what batteries should I use? Venom batteries? Any advice? I'm utilizing the Traxxas batteries because of the way they're charging right now. It's less cables that are exposed as in your balance port. Uh, don't get me wrong. I do have Venom. I do like Venom. But I've been utilizing Traxxas batteries as of late because of the way their charging station is right now. And also they fit into the compartments a lot easier than anything. Uh, Brighton, how fast does it go? 70 miles per hour plus. Uh, on paper, it says that. Uh, Mr. Harris, okay, Walk Legend says, Mr. Harris, look into the SMC Racing for your LiPo batteries. I've heard about them. They're pretty good. Long Island Speed, you getting foams for it? Uh, I already have foams for it. Um, I already have my foams, and these are my, my contact tires. I will be... Um, once I do the initial maiden run with the VXL system, I'll take that out, put it into another RC, and put a, a higher cell system. But I already have my contacts ready for this car. And for people know, this is the, really the one, the only 110 scale I have. So these are my contact wheels that I have, and these are my foams. Now, I understand that I'm able to get these Traxxas 
rims with foams. I might do that too. Who knows? So here you go. This will give you a little bit of more uh, visual of the foam tires that I'm putting on there. And to be cute, they do put a whole bunch of uh, decals around the rim. Hold on. So you're able to put these decals around the rim, which makes it pretty uh, race authentic on there. All right, put you down. Uh, let me see. Uh, Tyler Stone, what's going on, man? Gus, hey, Gio, uh, are you going to live stream uh, when you paint the body? I think I am. I think it's going to be a long process. Uh, for me to do that because I'm trying to take uh, take it. Bike week. You missed it. Yes, I did miss it. <laughs> My bike is out of commission right now. Uh, water pump. Anthony Harris, what's going on? Uh, Anthony Martinez, what's going on? Tyler Stone. I almost done my uh, TRX4 build. Can't wait to drive it. Yeah, you and me both. I can't wait to drive this thing once it's done. Line of speed, just a heads up. Uh, 110 scales have some trouble with the at Wilshire with the road. Ain't it smooth? I got some trouble. Uh, oh, oh, so it's not smooth. It's not fresh blacktop. All right. Leo Richard. Yes, Forrest Will. Um, Lewis LPRC is hot racing is taking too long to put out those aluminum disc brakes and calipers for sale. But Traxxas did come out with them already uh, for the Fortec. Yep. Uh, uh, Mr. Harris says thanks, uh, Warhawk. All right. So, look, um, like I said, this is going to be a quick uh, live stream. I just wanted to talk about what I've initially found on this. I'll probably talk about other things that are going to be happening in the YouTube world. I just wanted to give you a heads up. Uh, definitely, if you're looking for information on this type of RC, definitely look at um, this video because there's a lot of things that I found out about this RC and upgrades that you have. And, Lewis, this would be something cool and interesting for you to find out about it once you're able to replay this um that i found out that you have to modify with a few things so uh that being said i'll just go over the last f a few more questions walk legend says geo when traxxas released a new vehicle like of e revo 2.0 how long did they uh did they make available upgrade parts like red anodized rods i think you could use the old version you could use the old rods because they're extendable uh, i did not see them on the traxxas website yes they are only in green right now, and it's just the calipers. Not the discs, just the calipers as right now. Um, that being said, um, I believe tomorrow, 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 I will have my UDR. Uh, so I'm just going to give you guys a heads up. My UDR and my clear body will be in, um, in my hands. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Um, it should be tomorrow. Um, praying is tomorrow. It should have been Tuesday, but because of Easter and snowstorms and everything like that, it did not happen. Uh, but I'm hoping that I will have my UDR, uh, sooner than later. And then once I get my hands on that, then we'll be able, uh, be able to start customizing that one and getting that one ready because I'm going to be hooking up one of my boys, uh, Chris from Everyday RC. I'm going to be, um, very soon coordinating a bash event happening in New York. So get ready for that. And hopefully uh, you guys will be able to enjoy that. So um, on uh, below or probably in my other videos, I'll give you a part list of everything that I have on this RC. Uh, as you guys well may know, I do not keep any secrets when it comes down to modifications and stuff like that. Um, I, I have always said this a long time ago. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, me giving you a recipe just because I give you the recipe doesn't know you doesn't mean you know how to make the cake. So uh, that being said, you know, I'll always give you guys a part number. You know, there's a lot of things that go into when you start upgrading your RCs. You got to go with what type of dip fluid you're utilizing, what type of grease that you're utilizing, how you're doing your camber links, uh, how you're setting up your throw, um, where, where are your power positions on your RCs. It all, it, it, all, it, it all variates, you know, like me having this whole build, realistically speaking, once I do drive it, there are going to be things that I need to find out about it that is not going to initially work for me. Like, say, hypothetically speaking, if I'm doing uh, runs with this, you know, I want to close off the steering ratio on my um, on my servo. 
you know, uh, where do I want the punch at? You know, I it's it, it, there's home, so many different variations of how to set up. And a lot of people that do speed runs do that. Uh, when I do bump up the motor in the AC, am I going to have to put a, a capacitor on it? You know, um, probably it's going to be um, a, a 10 capacitor. I mean, it all, it all, a BEC, I mean. Um, I might have to put a 10 at BEC, depending on what I'm going to be doing. But there's a lot of things that vary, you know, and I'll always tell you exactly what's in my RCs, but it's all depending on how you want to run your RCs. It all depends on the type of uh, diff fluids that you're utilizing, you know. Uh, you can go stiffer in the front, you know, looser in the rear. It all depends on you weight, the way you drive your RC and stuff like that. I'll give you exactly what I got in my RC. Uh, but, you know, as you guys want me to know, you know, my channel is not only that. You know, I do like to customize and show you exactly how it ends up, how... Uh, I ended up installing stuff, what tricks and tips that I found out that would assist you once you're doing these type of builds, because I know a lot of, there are a lot of people out there that are not able to shell out every hot racing part at one shot, you know, like realistically speaking, if my hobby guy had all the parts, you know, available to him, I would have bought it all in one shot. Uh, I think I went pretty all out with this RC, you know, uh, customizing it when I first got it and just getting everything. I mean, this, I mean, I never, I didn't have to get aluminum, uh, blue aluminum links. There was no reason for that, you know, but I ended up getting them because I, they, they worked well with the RC, uh, as my color scheme. I didn't have to get the, the blue aluminum, um, center drive shaft. Why? There was no reason for that. I didn't have to get the blue aluminum caps. The, the aluminum caps that came with the upgraded shocks from Traxxas were aluminum. You know, a gray aluminum, but it was aluminum in the I didn't have to do that. I just did that more for visual. You know, so there are a lot of things that I wanted to get onto the RC uh, that I didn't need, but I wanted. And uh, once you start customizing your own RCs, you'll be able to find out that these are the things that you want. Not necessarily what you need, but definitely what you want. So hopefully this video was informative to you. Uh, thank you very much for checking out the live session. Like I said, tomorrow we should be doing a nice UDR presentation. Um... Once I do do the UDR presentation, uh, it should be something pretty interesting for you guys. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to do a live or, or, or some type of video of me painting the new body and stuff like that. Uh, let me just give you a visual of this, the way the body sits on my car right now. And this is the way I want it to sit, you know, on the RC itself. I was thinking about just throwing my, my Geo stuff on one decal right there. Bow! <laughs> just to match up you know, with the tire, but the problem is I only have one. <laughs> so, uh, that being said, uh, hopefully this video is informative to you. If you do like these live streams, uh, definitely give me a thumbs up. It does help out my channel, if anything like that. Um, and uh, that being said, uh, wait for the new uh, UDR and possibly, shh, 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 possibly the E-Revo will be here. We'll see. But that being said, hopefully this video is informative to you. Rate, comment, subscribe, and tell my fellas up on YouTube. Later.